Welcome to the June Spotlight on Income Planning, brought to you by ProducersWeb.com. I'm Sarah Fletcher, and in this broadcast, we'll cover some of this topic's biggest trends and in insightful research. This Spotlight on Income Planning is sponsored by American Financial Marketing, your independent solutions resource. For more information, please visit www.afmus.com. The Hennessy Hedge Fund Index in May declined 2.99%. This action came amid the NASDAQ Composite having dipped 8.29%, the Standard & Poor's 500 having dropped 8.20%, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average having fallen 7.92%. Meanwhile, the Barclays Aggregate Bond Index rose 0.84% due to a rise in U.S. Treasuries, according to reports. Based on data from the U.S. Census Bureau, a new report from the Employee Benefits Research Institute indicates that Social Security makes up about 40% of retirement income for seniors. 20% of savings come from pensions and annuities, 26% from earnings and wages, and 13% from income from asset accounts. In terms of just women, 48% rely on Social Security, compared with 34% of men, while 22% of men prefer to use pensions and annuities compared with 17% of women. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services will provide up to $1 million for each state that shows it will use the money to create and strengthen health insurance rate review processes. Officials will be distributing $51 million in health insurance premium review grants provided by the Affordable Care Act, the legislative package that includes the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, and the Health Care and Education Reconciliation Act. Finally, the Act's Premium Review Grant provision will provide $200 million in additional funding for premium review grants for 2011 through 2014. I'm Sarah Fletcher, and thanks for watching this Spotlight on Income Planning. To see more video spotlights on your favorite products and practices, find them on ProducersWeb.com and browse by topic.